Okay, hey, I was asked recently to record a tutorial on how to install Tally Arbiter from scratch and set it up to work with OBS Studio. So here we go. So I'm here on the GitHub page for Tally Arbiter and I'm going to come over here to this green code button and I'm going to choose download zip. Now you can use uh, the command line if you're familiar with Git and the processes around it. Uh, but if you don't have any experience at all, this is just an easy way to download it and get started. So I'm going to say download zip. It's going to put it here in my downloads folder. And usually it's going to be named the name of the project with the branch. And this is the master branch. But to keep it simple, I'm just going to rename this folder to tally arbiter. And I'm just going to move it over to my desktop to make things very simple. So uh, that's done. Now I'm going to open up terminal and I'm gonna change directory to my desktop and this might be different depending on the operating system you're on uh, but I'm gonna now change directory to tally arbiter folder and you can see some of the files that are here the first thing I want to do is install all of the dependencies and this is listed the install process is actually listed here on github that you need to do uh, but the first thing again is just we want to type npm install and it's going to download all the dependencies that are needed in order to do this and it's great that's done so now I'm ready to run it uh, this is being run for the first time so I don't have any configuration files and I'm just going to say node index.js uh, you could use PM2 or some other kind of uh, daemon servicing program to make it run like a service uh, but just for this test I'm going to show you how to run it directly from node so node index.js it ran through and now it's actually running on my local IP on port 4455 so I'm going to come back over here to my browser and open up a new tab 127 001 colon 4455 and this is tally arbiter so I'm going to go to my settings page uh, depending on which version you're using the latest version is going to require a login uh, the default login is username admin password one two three four five same combination as my luggage so I'm gonna close this out here we don't need this and you can see here I don't have any sources configured or devices uh, but let's get started so we're doing this for OBS so I'm gonna click add choose source type is OBS studio and I'm gonna name it OBS my password is actually gonna be one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one because it's the same computer that I'm running the server on as the same as OBS and we'll say port 4444 and I'm just going to use a simple password of password for this test now uh, in OBS studio you do have to have the WebSocket plugin installed and you can get that over on github uh, from this source here uh, you just want to download the version that you need for your operating system so it just depends on which OS you're running there uh, but I've installed it and I'm going to configure it to use port 4444 and I'm going to use the, the password of password so I'm going to hit OK there come back to tally arbiter and I'm going to hit say save now you can see here it's green because it's already connected to OBS studio the connection has been opened and now I'm going to add some devices. First, let's take a look in OBS Studio. You can see I've got two scenes here. One has a source called Camera 1. Scene 2 has a source called Camera 2. Very simple test, but this might be how you're using OBS as a switching. You might have more layers there. Uh, you could also have it in studio mode if you want to see uh, your, both of your sources at the same time. Um, so we'll just leave it in studio mode here. And I'm going to come back to tally arbiter and I'm gonna add two new devices I'm gonna say add my device name we'll call this cam1 description is my first camera slash device and I'll hit save now that I've added it I'm gonna come over to edit sources and I need to add a source to this device so I'm gonna say add source I only have one here OBS and in OBS I named it my camera one device I named it camera one with no spaces so I'm gonna type that in here and hit save I'm gonna do the same for my second device we'll call this cam two um, 
and we'll just give it a description and hit save edit the source OBS and I called it camera 2 and hit save now if I come back to OBS and I do a transition you'll see that it's telling me that camera 1 is in program camera 2 is in preview if you look at OBS that's rightfully so if I were to do a transition here to mix that back you'll see they've swapped places let me see if I can scale this down where you can see them both at the same time there you go so you can see them switch places as soon as that transition finishes if I take it out of studio mode you're not going to get any tally data but it will still update and so you'll see preview here actually won't change anymore because OBS doesn't send uh, preview data any longer when you're not in studio mode so but again if I'm in studio mode you can see that change back and forth as I switch what's in preview and then as soon as I take something to program you'll see it cut over there so that's in a nutshell a quick and easy way to get started with Tally Arbiter and OBS Studio uh, there's much more configuration you could do so there you have it that is a simple and easy way to get started with Tally Arbiter and OBS Studio